Hey guys, go back to the video. Today in this video, I'll be talking about removed items and entities in Roblox stores. So yeah, let's just get right into this video. So, number one, the first thing I'll be talking about is the garden shears. So, the garden shears are a deleted item that has not been reintroduced to the game. They appeared in a teaser prior to the release of the Hotel Plus update, and it's not, and it has been speculated to have been used in the courtyard or the greenhouse section of the game to cut vines, which block the player's path. The reason for deletion, or if they will return in a future update, is unknown. So, um, also, um, the shears are like under the map. I don't know if you guys know about that. I'm pretty sure most of you know, but the shears are like under the map. And it's like they're not visible um, unless some, you hack or something uh, or exploit whatever you want to call it. Um, just fly out the map. You could probably just find it like underneath the map. I don't know, but I saw like a video of someone finding the shears. So, um, but yeah, that's number one. So number two, this is a design, not a removed entity, but ambush. You guys already know about this. He had an original appearance, like it was scrapped um, for like unknown reasons. Reasons. Um, but there are a lot of differences between both original and currently used designs being completely red and what appears to be a scalp under it in the second and the jack-like understructure design in the original instead of the distorted appearance. So like there's like a vine underneath the old um, ambush design. So um, and then also there's one of them that have like teeth or something for the mouth but then the other one doesn't. Um, and the other one just has like something in its eye. I don't know. It's like a pupil or something. I have no clue um, But yeah, so the next thing we have here is shadow so shadows first design texture was scrapped due to it looking like a um, I don't know if I can say this on YouTube, but um, Just I'll just say it was bad. All right, uh, and the developers didn't want to risk trying to get through Roblox moderation when comparing both designs the original and current one they're not very much they're not like that different but um except for the original's head tilt which would have been more apparent in game due to its tall characters so yeah i can show you guys it right now it doesn't look too bad in the photo but um if you guys want to know what it was like that, what i couldn't say then you guys can go online search in the in the wiki and uh, the roblox stores to remove content wiki so um anyways so let's go to seek next seek um, so Seek's original appearance differs a lot from the current appearance, being more bent down forwards and mangled. So I actually thought that was like a meme, like that people made or something. Like they just got Seek and they like just made him all like messed up. But like apparently that was real. So that was his original like, appearance and like that's what he was gonna look like. So um, it is confirmed to be a based off of a free. R okay, so yeah. Um, read dead mesh in the creator marketplace with its texture altered to look more like the current seek okay so that makes a lot more sense all right so moving on we got figure so figure um he had two scrapped designs the first one being a mock-up and the other having a near identical appearance to the current entity design the second design only differed from the current one with its round hands and small height the design for figure was remade right before the official release on the 10th of August. So right before. So we would have seen... Here, I'll, show you, I'll show you guys on the screen right now. We would have seen this. So there's one of them. So version one is with the two heads with the uh, figure doing the T-pose right now. Right, that would that have been interesting if we saw that. And the second one was just... I don't know. It looks kind of weird. I feel like its legs are like kind of small and its arms is kind of small as well. I don't know. But like if we saw one of those like... Or just version one. If we saw that one... Then that would have been freaky, man. I would have ran away. I would have, like, lost completely. Anyways, um, we got eyes here. So, eyes. In their first iteration, eyes were originally meant to be much less sophisticated. So, it only had a few eyes um, in comparison to the current version. So, current version has, like, I don't know how many eyes, but it has way more. And the old one had, like, I don't know, three eyes or something? Or four eyes? I don't know. Um... So they had like a pair of flashing eyes similar to Halt through red in color, which also um, could be seen in um, their unused jump scare. So, um, yeah, apparently eyes used to have a jump scare. Um, it looks like Halt, but like it's red instead. So that looks pretty cool. But if um, eyes had like uh, a jump scare, that would be kind of 
weird. I feel like, um, but like, I mean, I mean, that would be cool as well, but all right. Um, last but not least for the entities, at least we have halt. So halt's current design was evidently drawn from its first. However, the original design was much darker and tenebrous. I don't even know what is that, what that word is right there. Um, compared to its reinstated form. I'm just going to say it was just much darker. All right. That's all I want to say. It was much darker um, compared to its reinstated form. Um, so yeah, it looks like gray and it has like white eyes. So it doesn't like it doesn't even have the blue in it. So it was just like like it just a white or like gray grayish like figure ghost thing with like the two white eyes. So apparently there's also a remove soundtrack. So hold on, let's see what this is. Um, void collision. Hold on. In game two instances are played with one with equalizer. Vo what is this, bro? Um. Can I play it? Hold on. Okay, th th there's that. And then the, what about this? Okay, and also it's called the Angel's Fountains 2. That's what it, one of them are called. Uh, oh, it's actually on Roblox. Oh, wait, Roblox made it themselves. Oh, never mind. Okay. Alright, that was interesting. Um, Alright. So what have we got? We got removed rooms. Since the release of the Hotel Plus update, a few room layouts have been removed. Vent rooms. Oh yeah, vent rooms have been removed. So many libraries were rooms that had very few bookshelves and a switch hidden somewhere within. Oh yeah. Yeah, they removed those. I completely forgot about those rooms. Did you guys even remember about those? Like, it was like, like a room. It was like a mini library. Yeah, it had like books around. And then you have to like find the switch and bro, I swear, I've seen eyes in that one room all the time. And I thought vents were still in the game, but I guess not. So they removed the vents and mini libraries. But but if you guys like I don't know if, if it's only for me or if it's for you guys too. But in those mini libraries, I've seen eyes so many times. Like eyes was like there's like this little um indent. Um, like, there's, like, the exit, right? There's, like, the gate. And then if you looked backwards, there's, like, eyes sometimes. I swear, I've, I, I saw eyes so many times there. It was kind of annoying. Like, I couldn't even look back. And, like, sometimes the switch would actually be there. So I had to, like, go back and stuff. And it was really annoying. Also, I have a picture to show you guys of the shears in someone's inventory. So this person said, so I found out the shears are below the ground in the courtyard. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, they're basically, like, they we're supposed to be in the game. I think they are going to be in the game, though. So... Um, but yeah, that's basically all I have for you guys. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe. It's, um, pretty much it for the video. There's nothing really else that was deleted from the game. Um, it does also say the skeleton key and crucifix, but that was probably, like, old, because, but they already came to the game, but, um, but yeah, both items have been added in since the Hotel Plus update with the skeleton key having it altered, um, in favor for opening specially locked doors, and then... Um, you can obtain the crucifix from Jeff's shop on door 52, a video that shows the effect of the crucifix pre-release can be found here. Um, the skeleton key acted as a universal key, being, uh, to being able to uh, open all locked doors five times. What? Really? What? I did not know that. Five times before being discarded from the player's inventory. This was obtainable via the pre-run shop for a hundred knobs. When it was reintroduced in the Hotel Plus update, it could be attained on door 52. So wait, you could open five locked doors. You can use it five times on five locked doors. And then it would be discarded from the player. So it didn't actually work. Like the skeleton lock. Um, maybe it did, but... Um, bro, I did not know that. You can unlock five doors before it discarded from the player's inventory. That's pretty interesting. And then you could buy it for 100 knobs. So that's about, like, what, like, uh, how much... I don't know even what the shop is, but like the lighter is like 50, I believe. So like that's like double, but that's not bad. 100, like you can probably get that. So I did not know that though. That was interesting right there. But yeah, guys, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. Um, comment down below on what you guys want me to upload next. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. So yeah, peace.